Hi, my name is Ryan and I'm on the Life Church Online team where we run more than 90 services each week completely online. I'm so excited you're looking into online ministry. At no other time in history have more tools been available to us as the church to reach the lost in our towns, countries, and around the world. As you make a plan to launch church online, you may be thinking two things. How do I do ministry online? And how do I use the church online platform? Well, we'll cover both right now. Simply put, church online is just that, church online. It's more than replaying a church service or sermon on a website. That's one-way video distribution. Online ministry is two-way, Christ-centered community. People can attend church, connect with staff and volunteers, and take their next steps with Jesus all digitally. There are many tools you can use for online ministry, things like YouTube and Facebook Live. They all provide a way to stream a church service and interact with attenders, and we use them all here at Life Church Online. But our favorite tool for online ministry is the Church Online platform. It's the only tool built specifically for online ministry. We created it here at Life Church to serve our growing online campus, and because we built it in house, we focused on specific features you'll need to reach people for Jesus. Here's how it works. Let's look at it from three different perspectives. First, what will your attenders see? When attenders log on to a church online service, they'll see a large video viewer and a chat area. It's a clean, easy to use layout without any of the notifications, distractions, or ads you'd find on a social media platform. They'll be able to watch your service and chat with your staff and hosts and with each other in the public chat. We see people ask questions, say amen to a message, greet friends, and explore faith all in the chat. One of the simplest ways to interact with a service is to click the heart reaction. Some use it to heart a favorite quote from a sermon or a moving prayer, and the action is so inviting and easy to use that it's a perfect way for a new attender to engage in the message. Your attenders can create an account with your church through the Church Online platform, or they can engage without creating one so they can explore faith with Jesus at a pace they're comfortable with. Under the chat area, attenders can see tabbed options for your custom notes, the YouVersion Bible app, and a schedule of upcoming events. Attenders can share about your church via text or social media right from the service. And when God has moved them to ask for help or give their lives to Him, they can click Request Prayer to pray live and in real time with one of your staff or hosts. Everything about what attenders experience through the platform is geared towards creating easy ways for them to hear and respond to Christ no matter where they are. Maybe my favorite thing about the platform is the customized calls to action that help people interact with the most meaningful parts of the service. We call these calls to action moments, and they appear in the chat feed. And since the platform was created just for churches, moments are designed for specific church needs. You'll find a giving moment so people can tithe and give, a connect moment so they can invite others and connect with your custom forms, a quote moment to highlight a powerful or special line from the message, a salvation moment that people can click to show that they're giving their life to Jesus, and a salvation follow-up moment so you can lead a new Christian to next steps. Now let's look at what your staff or volunteer hosts will see. As your attenders are engaging in the service, your staff or volunteers have a workspace all their own. Behind the scenes, the platform has a dedicated space where hosts can see the public chat and monitor it. Rarely, someone might post a comment that requires some ministry follow-up, which can happen in a private one-to-one -one chat between host and attender, and the comment can be deleted or the attender muted if need be. But much more often, the hosts are answering attenders' questions, adding verses and main points to the chat, and making people feel needed and known. Next to the public chat view, hosts have a chat just for their team. Hosts can check in with each other, support each other in prayer, talk through what's going on in the chat, and handle logistics of the service. Hosts are notified of any incoming prayer requests here and are ready to counsel, answer questions, and pray with people right when they need it most. There's also a place to post notes, 
verses, important links, training videos, updates, and more so your hosts have everything they need to conduct church in one easy to use space. Now, if you're the one setting up your church to do online ministry through the Church Online platform, you'd be an admin. Here's what you'll see. Setting up your church is easy. You don't even need a website to create a Church Online experience through the platform. After the initial setup, you can set up your first service. There are two main ways to broadcast a service. You can pre-record it and then show it as though it were live. Your attenders will all see the same part of the service at the same time and chat in real time. We call this simulated live because even though you pre-recorded the service, it ends up feeling completely live. The other option is to truly stream live. This is easy through the platform with a little additional know-how. Once you choose how to capture your service, you'll film it. Use anything from an iPhone to an entry-level video camera to a broadcast camera. Then you'll host that video with a streaming provider. There are several great free options and some that charge a bit. Once you host that video, you'll get a code from the streaming provider. In the Church Online platform, set up your service start and stop times, add your title and notes or other custom information, and add that stream code. That's it. Your service will run at the set time and people will watch and interact with your service. You can also set up moments, those calls to action, to run at specific points in your service. After the service, the platform automatically displays analytics so you can see all that God did during your service. The report shows how many people attended, how long they watched, how many live prayers and chats there were, and how many salvations were recorded and more. Use these stats to tweak your online services, share wins with leadership, and measure effectiveness. And that's it. The whole goal with the Church Online platform is to make online ministry easy. We fund the development of the tool, all the server and infrastructure costs, and all the feature releases and support. It's our honor to play that role in the body of Christ so you can play yours to go online and reach the people that you're uniquely called to reach. If you have any questions about how to start online ministry or set up the platform, we're here for you. Visit support.online.church for trainings, how-tos, or to ask us a question. And from one pastor to another, if you're having doubts about starting online ministry, don't. It's such a joy to pioneer the online space with the tools God has given us to fulfill His mission. There are people just across computer screens and mobile phones in your town and around the world who need to hear the message of Jesus right where they are online.